days out from going inside the hive and killing the hive. Because when it gets cold, inside those hives get cold too. All right, so I went ahead and I told them I'm coming. You have to take the top off. Sometimes they have a little glue, sticky substance that they glue it down with. They don't want anybody in there. So we have to unstick it. And mind you, I've just been in here not long ago, so it doesn't take long for them to start sticking things down. All right, this is wonderful looking. We've got bees a little bit everywhere. Uh, this stuff right here, it's in here. This brown stuff is called a pollen patty. Somebody got stuck in there. Let's get him out. So what happens is right now with the weather, there's not much pollen. The blooms haven't started quite yet. So I feed them a little bit of that pollen patty that helps them get their hive ready for the spring. All right, here's a little piece of wax paper that come off that pollen patty. But when I came back out here last week or so ago, I put on this little frame box right here. The reason I put that on is because this one right here is already full of honey. They've already filled it. They've got everything ready. Now they needed to start filling this one. So I'm going to smoke these little guys up here to also let them know I'm coming. Kind of stirs them a minute, but it makes them want to go home. Not some to go back inside. Well, and the wind's blowing, so it's not going to do too great of a job, but decent. Okay, as long as they're alerted and they know. If you notice, you've got some little bees up here on the corner kind of doing a little dance. They're telling their friends that I'm here. I'm going to go ahead and pop this off. Right here is another little entrance for them to get in the hive if they don't want to go down up front. All right. This is beautiful. Now, what I've done in here, I still need to get a couple of wax frames to put in here, but I didn't put them all in here because I want them to try to fill what they have. The frames I added already had wax on them, so my bees don't have to work so hard on filling them. They have to get in there and clean it up. They take all the dirt, all the germs, everything out of it, and they go ahead and they clean up the frames so they can start putting honey in. Now right here, they're probably repairing these. These are from an old beehive I had. They went in there and they're cleaning them up, which is a good thing. They're already up here in this box and it's just been a week. In the center ones, they may already start put, may even start putting some nectar down in there but I'm not sure yet. We'll pull one and see. Got to put those in carefully. If not, you'll squish somebody. All right. Some of these bees I see right here on top have little yellow spots on their legs, which is pollen. That means they've already found flowers. They're pulling pollen. So that's a good thing. They may already start putting pollen inside the uh, frame. We shall see. Maybe. It's kind of sticky. They have a lot of sticky stuff. They like to stick everything down. They don't want anything. They, they don't make it real easy to get into. Bees will take wax from other bees, which is great. So if I have a beehive that doesn't quite work out, I can take those wax frames and keep them. And that's beautiful. Those little guys are really getting busy. So they're still cleaning on that. Um, Let's turn it over and see. Yeah, they're cleaning that and making sure it's nice and clean. Wonderful. So they're not quite putting anything in these frames yet, but hey, they're excited. They're in there. They're cleaning it. The weather's beautiful. Flowers are starting to bloom out so they can get the pollen and the nectar. And that pollen and nectar makes us honey. They stir it. They dry it out, take all the moisture out, and then they'll cap it off with their wax. All right, well, thank you guys for joining me today and learning a little bit more about bees and looking into a little bit of a beehive. Thank you guys, and I will see you guys next time.